Well, good afternoon, Cybe fam. We're no longer YouTube land. We graduated, okay? We're family and we met through cyberspace. And I just came up with that today. So hello, Cybe fam. How are you? Oh my gosh, so I heard that Harriet Tubman, which you all know, was a slave and was part of the Underground Railroad helping slaves escape to freedom. Now she is going to be on the new $20 bills. And so after I heard that news, it was almost like a punch in the face from the enemy saying just you know I mean you guys might think I'm crazy for sharing the things that I share but it's only because I want to wake people up spiritually speaking to see how the Antichrist is just throwing all of the signs and all of these attacks it clearly in our face and what I mean by that is a lot of people depend on money to pay for things food rent your mortgage your car payment the your basic essentials like toilet paper and toothpaste if you don't have money, you're, you're not going to be able to buy anything. And we all know that money is a necessity to buy your necessities. But here's the kicker. Harriet Tubman being on money, it's like, like this is what I heard. I mean, I didn't audibly hear it, of course, but this is what I spiritually heard. Yeah, now everybody, I want you to know that you're all a slave to the world system and you, and, and you, you work like dogs for your money just so you can eat. And it was like, I just, it was like this, um, you know, I get, I get things like that sometimes. I'll hear things from a different dimension and, and, it, and it like, you know, at first I'm like, wow, that totally makes sense because don't you feel like, especially if you don't even like your job in the first place, don't you feel like you're a slave for that paycheck? I mean, you know, and then when you look at the economy and when you look at how hard it is to even get a job, it's hard. You know, I haven't, I mean, thank God I just haven't had to be out in that working world the past 13 years of my life. Thank God. I, I mean, I remember it like it was yesterday. You know, everybody pawning their work off onto me because I was extremely, I was diligent, I was micro, I task, you know, I could do a lot of things at once, I just, you know, that's just me. I never could say no. I, I mean, I was working on the weekends, not for money, but just because I have that sense of they need me. And okay, yeah, it was going to be extra money. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't be lying. Okay, so anyways, that was one thing I wanted to bring to your attention. Another thing that came to my mind was understanding by educating myself that when the Bible talks about the beast system and when you understand it includes both the political system and the religious powers of the world. And then when you link all that, you get the Roman Empire. I know! And the, the USA is the second beast. 
I know. I just, I just thought I'd throw that out there because you know what? I see it. I told, I'm telling you, I'm not a fear monger. I'm a wake up person and you guys are my family. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to stop praising almighty God. And I'm not going to stop trying to wake the people up. Stop being a sheeple and wake up. You're a precious lamb. You know, we are God's flock. We are, G we belong to Jesus. That's why I've got no fear because I don't have a spirit of fear. I can speak the truth because I know it's the truth and I know that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, as, as the time goes, you know, today I was doing homeschool and I was talking about the four seasons and there's something about fall. I don't know what it is, but it just today all day. And then I heard that Prince, you know, um, when doves cry. Okay, that Prince, I heard he passed away. And that was another thing that came to my mind. It was like the, you know, like I know there's no like correlation with my thoughts and what with what I see in the world. But it all comes to Jesus Christ. The Prince of Peace is coming down soon. Where he doesn't touch the ground, we see him in the clouds. If you are a firm believer in Jesus, you know what I'm talking about. It's exciting! I'm not going to sit here and be boring about something as awesome and amazing and, and like, oh my gosh, glorious is that? How can I? Now, back to this new world order and putting Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill. If you understand the new world order is coming into power and they are somehow going to convince people Oh, you don't have to be a slave to carry in money anymore. We're going to make it so convenient. All you have to do is scan your itty bitty wrist or nod your little head. It's going to be something like that. I don't know. A lot of people say it's an RFID chip implant. You know what? I don't know. Because I'm hoping not to be hair, to be honest with you. And to honestly tell you how I feel about this whole nonsense, I feel like we are the resistance. I feel, okay, I can only speak for myself over here. I will not obey the new world order. And there's no need to mark me because I know that I belong to Almighty God. Okay, you can't touch this. I feel an uprising in the pit of my stomach, and I will go down fighting. Oh, yeah. I know how to fight. Don't think skinny girls don't know how to fight. Okay? For Jesus Christ, you better know I'm going to fight, and I am going to wake people up as I fight the good fight of faith. I'm telling you guys, if you don't get firmer in the faith, it's just going to, you know what I mean? It's going to take you by surprise. That's why you got to know what's going on. I'm telling you guys. I'm, I know I keep saying, oh, I'm telling you guys, but that's because I am telling you guys. Ugh. God Almighty, the Father, the Son, they are one. We are one with them. We are. Jesus even says in the Bible, Father, how and when will they be one with us like it was in the beginning? Hello. There is something that just confirms with my spirit. We are not of this world. 
We are not of this world, beast, evil, satanic worshiping, okay? Everything's upside down and backwards living world, okay? We're not. We're not. We need to magnify his holy name, especially in these days. Today's the day you open your eyes and recognize the beast system is a coming. And guess what, though? Guess what? Are you guessing? Do you give up? And so is Jesus Christ when God Almighty says, Snatch them away now. It's time. We are up and out of here. I know we are. I'm telling you, I know we are. I know we are. I know we are. I, I feel like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz wearing my sparkly red shoes, clicking them together. Remember she had to click them together three times? There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. And this earth, I'm sorry, this earth is not our home. I'm telling you, it's just not. Call me crazy, but it's straight up reality. I'm resistance. I am a resistance. Friend of the world is an enemy against God, and the Lord even says in his word, Come out of her! I'm serious about everything that I'm talking about, and I only wish I could be calm, cool, and collected like a cucumber. But I'm not wired that way. God made me this way for such a time as this. Now, WTFU, you guys are like, what did she just say? Where truth finds us. You can't sleep forever. You need to wake up. And I'm serious. When you understand what was done for us, over 2,000 years ago, when you read your Bible, when you know that you know that you know, when you know, ain't nobody going to tell you anything different. And when you see these things happening, we're not supposed to panic or be afraid. We're supposed to be cool, calm, and collected. But I'm just not wired that way. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm not saying that the sky is falling, and I know it's not the end of the world, but it's going to be the end of the world as we know it very, very soon, and if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you're not going to survive. You're not going to make it. So many people are walking away from the faith. I, I could never walk away from my faith. That's how I was brought up. That's what I grew up with. That's what my spine, my backbone is the Word of God. That's what keeps me upright. That's what keeps me pressing on. That's what keeps me persevering. That's what keeps me growing up in the Lord. That's what keeps me grounded. That's what keeps me rooted. That's what keeps me refreshed. As if I've got this spirit that just like springs up inside of me like a well of refreshing water. Jesus said, if you keep looking to him as the world grows strangely dim, you shall renew your strength like the wings of an eagle and soar and run and not get weary or faint. I'm telling you, Jesus will renew your strength. And you won't even know where you're getting it from. But when you trust in your higher power, when you know that Almighty God's got this, 
The battle belongs to the Lord. He already won. He already won. But unfortunately, I know, the good news is, we don't have to do anything except keep praising his holy name. That's it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Pray for your enemies. And, and just, you know, have no idols. Worship God. Worship God only. Look to him. That's, that's number one. And, and if you've got that down, then, then you got it. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, I see this stuff and I hear what's going on. And I see the changes going on. And I don't like it. And, and I just want to make sure everybody that watches my videos, are you saved and do you know Jesus? Because I'm telling you, he can come back anytime he wants. He can. Nothing else has to be done. I'm looking for the upper taker, not the undertaker. Okay? <laughs> and that's all I wanted to say. And I really got to go. Because guess what? It's Bible Prophecy Night. I know. I'll be thinking about you guys. And I just might write some stuff down. I know I will. So I'm going to have a great video tomorrow evening. Have a blessed night and I'll see you later. God willing. Bye.